Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. In our last episode, we explored the town of South Figaro a little bit more, picked up a few items, and we started making our way through the uh, Mount Colts here, looking for Sabin and Vargas, whoever that is. I believe they said Vargas was Duncan's son, but we don't know who Duncan is either, so oh well. But we do know who Sabin is, so we're going to try and see if we can't meet up with him here. I was starting to mention in the, at the very end of the last episode that for this LP I will be playing the Super Nintendo version of the game because not only is that the version I grew up with, but that's the version I like the best. Oh, man. Uh, we should probably kill the lock just in case. Um, now, as mentioned before, the PlayStation 1 version of the game is pretty much a direct port of this one. It's nearly identical in every sense, even the translation, even the bugs carried over, which <laughs> I guess that's not really a good thing, but there you go. However, I don't like that version because when Squaresoft gave that to us, they also gave us menu lag. You know, that's real thoughtful of you guys. I mean, it's nothing... It doesn't take away from the game at all, but it's, it is kind of annoying. Um, I don't like the Game Boy Advance version of the game, although I think the translation in that version is a little better. But the music quality took a step backwards. So again, thanks guys. Appreciate that. And of course, he uses poison on the one person without the star pendant. Absolutely. And I'm not going to be playing the iPhone version because, well, I don't have an iPhone. I don't have um, a smartphone with Android. I have the Android operating system on it. So, oh well. That that version in itself is a mixed bag of blah. Oh, here's one thing I can show you guys. Take off the star pendant. This is another bug in the game. <laughs> As you can see here, Edgar is poisoned. But if we equip a star pendant, Edgar is no longer poisoned. What? How does that work out? Basically, um, status protection relics in this game. Not only are they useful, but they, they don't just prevent you from catching the status ailment. They just flat out block you from ever having it. So if you have it, and you equip yourself with something that says you can't have it, it overrides that. So therefore you don't have it. And it's essentially a, a way to cure yourself if you don't have any antidotes or phoenix, not phoenix sounds, like sauce or green cherries or anything like that. So that's pretty cool. You can take advantage of that if you want to. God, really? I just healed up too. I'm trying to save my magic with Terra, but. Yeah, that's one thing you can take advantage of if you want to. I typically don't, but it's there. Oh, man. But yeah, the iOS version of the game, I'll go over that periodically throughout the LP. It's... Eh, I'm not a fan of it. But anyways, this is Vargas. All right. Uh, no, we've actually been looking for Seven. He just told us he was Vargas Locke. So that's what that thing was earlier. Okay, it's boss time against Vargas and Winnie the Pooh. Oh, we can't target Vargas quite yet. Just kidding. 
secured everyone too. Yeah, anytime he does Gale Cut, make sure you have Terra cure your party. Now once you kill the bears there, Vargas becomes vulnerable. So. Actually, will that kill him? No. Man. Okay, there we go. Uh, you can steal a Mithril Claw from Vargas as well. Again, it's a rare steal, but you can go for it. Uh, Vargas is actually more weak to um, poison. That's one thing a lot of the humanoid characters are weak to in this game, is poison, which kind of makes sense. It doesn't make poison necessarily useful quite yet. That won't be until other Final Fantasy games. But for now, it does pretty good damage as an elemental spell. Got him, though. He doesn't have too much HP. Yep, here we go. Alright. Kick-ass music for Seven. I like this music. It's so epic. Whoa, Vargas? He killed Duncan? No! I wanted some donuts. Ah, uh, misguided jealous rage. Whoa. Hey. Okay, so yeah, things change here. Now it's a one on one battle against Vargas. Ah. Master taught you well, Padawan. Fate made us train together. Fate will send you to your doom. Or I will with my doom fist. Okay. I'm gonna get this over quickly. He already taught you the... First special attack? No! Uh, yeah, okay, so basically this battle is supposed to function as a blitz tutorial battle, but it takes too long, so basically what you want to do is go to blitz, use pummel, which the game tells you how to do eventually, and that's how you take Vargas down in one hit. Uh, Doomfist, as you saw, put a counter above Sabin's head. That is the um, condemned or doom status effect. When that number reaches zero, you die. Plain and simple. So, it is a timed battle. Bodybuilder who's straight from his gym. <laughs> Eventually though, as you're fighting Vargas, the game will give you hints and tips and it'll tell you, hey, you need to select the Blitz command and do this, and you'll use Pummel and you'll win the battle. But I'll go over Sabin's Blitzes momentarily. Oh, so you know about that, huh? Well, come with us. Empire Strikes Back? Eh, sort of. Alright, so Seven joined our party, and he is a monk. I really want to put him in the back row as well, and... Ah, uh, Terra too. She'll be using magic, primarily. Now let's go over Seven's Blitz command really quick. Go to Skills, go down to Blitz. He starts out with three, and basically how Blitz works is you choose it on the battle menu, press A, 
and then the cursor will go to 7. Now this is where you got to put in your special commands here, and press A to accept them. It's kind of like a fighting game in a way. Uh, if you do left, right, left, and press A, you'll do pummel. If you do uh, the hurricane kick motion from Street Fighter, you do Oracle, which is holy elemental damage to a single target. However, its damage comes from Savin's magic stab, so keep that in mind. And then XY down up A is suplex. We'll go over those as we use them. Um, also, being a monk, he, he, he's not very defensive by any means. Um, he can only use a few shields in the game, but that's why I, I hung onto a buckler and got an extra plume pad. So Sabin can get a little bit of a defense boost here. Um, he uses claws, just like Yang and other monks from other Final Fantasy games. But really, he shouldn't be using his physical attack ever. Because, much like Edgar, his blitzes do not rely on his battle power to do damage, so we can put him in the back row as well, use blitzes all the time, and he'll be amazing. Now, before we go to the Returner's hideout, there's something I want to do back in South Figaro, so I will just meet you there in just a second. Okay, guys, we're back here in South Figaro. We want to go into this house. Now that Savin has joined our party, this is Duncan's house. Let's see who this is. Oh, that's his wife, okay. Yeah, this is just a little um, extra dialogue you get once Sabin joined your party. Oh, no. You know, she's taking the news pretty well. <laughs> Ten years? Has he really been gone that long? So yeah, again, it's just a little extra dialogue. It's nothing critical to the plot or anything like that. But I just thought since, you know, Duncan's wife lives here, she probably want to know what happened to her husband and her son and all that good stuff. Um, also, on my way back here, I was able to steal a bandana from those brawlers in Mount Colts. Yeah, it's only two points better on the defense, but it's better than a sharp stick in the eye. I mean, it helps. Again, I would not go out of my way to get one. I just happened to get really lucky and was able to steal one on the first try. Now, I thought I should clarify um, a few things with the evasion bug, uh, or at least go over it in a little bit more detail. If, if you're playing the Game Boy Advance version of the game, that bug, um, having it fixed actually makes the game easier, in my opinion. That, that would definitely work in your favor in that case, because your shields would actually do something for you at this point in the game. Because um, right now, I want to say a majority, if not every single enemy, uses physical attacks. And this is the point in the game where physical attacks are the most dangerous, simply because in the original, you have no evade, so you have no way of negating any kind of damage that's coming your way. But in the iOS version and the Game Boy Advance version, you actually have a chance to evade some of that damage. And I think it makes the beginning of the game quite a bit easier. Especially for Locke, having 35% evade, that's amazing. That's like a 1 in 3 chance of just flat out avoiding damage. So, yeah, just because it's bugged doesn't mean it's a bad thing. Well, in this version of the game it is, but you, know, you guys know what I mean. And it's not that darkness is bugged in itself. Um, it does work, it's just rendered useless due to another existing bug in the game, which is the evade bug. You know, what was with Square back in the day? I think Blind was flat out broken in Final Fantasy IV. It worked okay in Final Fantasy V, but then Final Fantasy VI comes along, and again, it, it's rendered completely obsolete. Uh, Anyways, this is how you get a chocobo. You don't catch them in the wild or go to a chocobo forest. You can just rent one from a stable. So, it's pretty nice. I like that. Hey, get off. So yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that little cutscene there with Duncan's wife. And in between episodes, I am going to backtrack again through Mount Colts. And I will meet you on the other side. Um, right where we ran into Sabin and Vargas and all that good stuff. So, until then guys, you have a good day, and I'll see you in the next video.